Hi guys, welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now this map, I've just like been trying to, like I've just explored it a tiny little bit off camera, and it looks awesome. Only problem I was having is you, it says on the um, it says that you can run up to seven vehicles in the in the actual ga in the game itself, but um, for some reason every time I was trying to add in more vehicles, the game was crashing, and it was telling me I was missing mods. So I'm going to try and play around with that a little bit later on and see if I can add in more vehicles because there are heaps of vehicles here that can do different things that I would like to try out. But for now, it's letting me run the map with just one vehicle. So I've brought um, Banks' 2018 Performance F350 because of some of the pictures I've seen on Steam. I'm definitely going to need something that's a little bit quick. So we're going to take off and yeah, let's get into it. So go explore this map a bit. Now I'm not running dev tools, so obviously if I flip over, I'm going to have to respawn back to the garage every single time. So I'm going to try and avoid not flipping over as much as possible. And that's the best I can do for now. So let's head off and see where we go. Yeah, this was the first bridge that took, took me a bit by surprise when I was looking at the picture. So let's go up here and have a look. I haven't been up this way yet, so let's go up and have a look. Now the camera, I can't really do much about. When you go up steeper in climbs for some reason, the camera goes a bit funny and you can't. There's only so much adjustment you can do with them. Uh, I've never, yeah, I've never seen a map like this one, ever. Of all the maps I've played so far, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Wow. Looks like we're gone. Alright. We know not to go that way again. We know not to go that way again, and I have a tree stuck. I wonder if it's actually, imagine if it actually hit the driver, it was like going through the driver, that'd be sort of funny. Let me rip it a bit in high. Alright, let's get some points back. Alright. Let's try that again. Let's go a different way this time. Without smashing, hopefully. Oh, just missed that. How's that for luck? Yeah, there's so many different vehicles I want to try here, but every time I put in more, every time I put in seven vehicles in the car list, what out of the game, it um, yeah, it seems to either crash or it tells me that I'm missing mods. So I'm not too sure on that one, but I will play around with it and um, yeah, try and get that bit worked out. And well, at least we landed back over the right way. That's a bonus. Saves going back to the garage again. All right, let's get over. I'm going to need something a bit quicker for that. I think this has got the wheelbase. Oh, hang on, sorry. Oh, game had a bit of a freezing situation. Some of the maps do that sometimes. The modded ones, anyway. Um. All right. I think that. Sorry, guys. I think we're trying to jump that spot going around that loop you may need something with a shorter wheelbase this feels like it's too long in the wheelbase maybe something a bit shorter probably a bit more ideal for that spot but anyway let's get out of here continue down the um down and have a look see what else the map has I think this is just like a little, a little miniature test facility sort of thing. And I've already messed that up. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Try and straighten up a bit more. wondering if we can jump that. Yeah, I reckon we'll be able to. Let's try and jump it and see how we go. Oh, 
Hopefully we land back on all four wheels. Ah. Uh, oh, she's still got a little bit life, a little bit more life left. Yeah. Uh, but I've got no more repair points now, so that's it. Once we damage the rest of it, I'm gonna have to go back to the garage, get some more repair points. This is why you need to run dev tools, everyone. You can you can fix your vehicle doesn't pop any damage and you don't run out of fuel ever. Yeah. My garage is locked. I don't think there's much out the rest of the side of the map, but um, yeah, we'll go for a bit of a quick drive anyway. Maybe we'll flip this over and we'll just respawn back to the garage. Let's see if we can drift it a bit. Oh yeah. Uh, if I turn off the lock, it's even more. Oh yeah, you can really drift the pip lock off. Anyway, fair enough, that's enough fun. Wow, this thing really whips around. It is all this is an awesome vehicle. It's one of my favourites if you want to have a bit of like fast fun. I wonder how deep this water is. Oh wow. Okay, it's deep. It's just completely stalled the car out. Alright, let's cut recover back to the garage again. I'm really sorry about the whole reco garage recovery guys, but I'm not running dev tools, so can't do much about that. Not again. Are we good? Always drive this with diff lock on. That's what happens when you turn off diff lock. It flips very easy. So if you want to drift this and flip it, turn off diff lock. That's always the, seems to be the way to go. Alright, let's back up. This time we'll go out this way and have a look. We haven't been up this way yet. Custom. There's a log station here. If you leave it in auto, you can control this vehicle. As soon as you put it in high and you turn off the block, that's it. It is gone. What's this, like a racetrack maybe? Yeah, I reckon maybe. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. My terrible driving, sorry guys. Okay, that. Yeah, We've got to stop running it in that high gears. This is going to keep happening. Wonder how deep this water is. Let's find out. All right, it wasn't as deep as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were for sure going to lose the vehicle. All right, so let's have a quick look. That's where we are at the moment. I want to go back this way. I think. Yep, yeah, alright. We'll go back this way. Sorry guys, I've got to avoid that water as we'll end up going, going down and pissing again like we did before. Let's head over this side. I feel like this is a different view. Yeah, this is a different bridge from the one we went over before. But the camera angle goes really weird. I can't really do much about it, unfortunately. Hang on. So I have run inside view for a couple until we get through it a bit. 
Oh, here's the outside view. It goes weird, see? Wow. Can we fix his camera view up? You can't do it. It just keeps lifting itself back up at like bird's eye view sort of thing. You can't do much about it. Once we get out from the bridge, with some of the bridges, it happens not just on this map, but on a couple of them. Alright, we're back outside now. Uh, yeah, I probably should have taken that as more of a faster approach if I want to jump that. Lock it back in drive. I'm wondering how deep that um, water is. There's one way to find out. Ah, uh, we lost it. Alright, anyway guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, just like and subscribe and there'll be more content up a little bit later on. I'm going to do a bit of research on this map and try and get the problem solved so I can run seven different vehicles and we can explore all other different things. Cheers, have a good one. Thanks.